Hi guys, got a real short video for you today. Um, we're in the Q Bible. We've got our strong word numbers in our text. We're looking at the King James Version. And today we're going to be looking at Nehemiah chapter 5, verse 3. And I'm going to read that. Some also there were that said, We have mortgaged our lands, vineyards, and houses, that we might buy corn because of the dearth. Okay. The word I want to look at here is mortgaged. We see that it is Strong's number 6148. So let's go over here to Blue Letter Bible. You see I have Strong's 6148 pulled up. And let's just go ahead and go down to the entry from the lexicon. Let's see if I can get all the definitions in there. Yes, I can. Okay, <clears throat> looks like we have four definitions there. I'm not even sure what the first one is, I guess, to interweave or to weave. Uh, the second definition is to exchange articles of traffic, hence to traffic or barter. Definition number three, to become surety. And definition number four, to pledge, to give in a pledge. What we do not see here is a definition that says anything about mortgage. I am not going to read all of this. You are welcome to do that yourself, but I can tell you, you will not find the word mortgaged anywhere in this entry. Um, let's drop down to definition number four, which is to pledge, to give and pledge, followed by an account of the thing. And we see <coughs> Nehemiah 5.3 referenced. Now, I know you guys who have watched other videos are getting sick and tired of hearing me say this, but for those who are new and who have not seen my video about the Gesenius Lexicon, we know from uh, uh, studying the Lexicon and what it says in the preface and introduction that uh, whenever a Bible verse is referenced, uh, we know that that uh, verse was looked up. It was looked up in the King James Version and it was verified. So when this lexicon was translated back in the mid 1800s, uh, the gentleman who did the work would have looked up the verse Nehemiah 5.3 in the King James Version of the Bible and he would have verified this Hebrew word as to what it was in English. And according to his definition here, back then it said pledge. Whereas now it says mortgage. So again, I think we have some compelling evidence here that the King James Version of the Bible did indeed have pledge in place of the word mortgage, but at some point in time has been changed to mortgage. Okay guys, like I said, this is going to be a short video. There's really not much for me to add to that. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you later.